Hello MechWarriors, how's it going? And welcome to another episode of MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries. We are building an Atlas today, guys. I have an idea for a nice Atlas support build. And yeah, this is what we do. So let's go ahead and take a look at the star map. We have a multi-mission operation here that I don't really want to play. So let's go to Elcor, because Elcor is quite close by. We're gonna repair our mechs there and we're gonna start the build on the Atlas. Hoping that we can bring it to the battlefield today. Uh, also, Cantina. We can pick up another Cantina mission now. Would you look at that? War Dog, Commando Pickup, Mech Collector, Vulcan. All of these are not really that interesting. I think I'm going to go with the War Dog. We will always find missile carriers where we go. Um, yeah, we have 11 million C builds. It's not the most. Absolutely not the most. Um, but what I want is I want to upgrade my people. Love of lasers, decreased heat management. Okay. I want to upgrade these so that they can learn a little bit more. So we're going to go motivation. Yes, I know. We could rehab, but who cares? I want to motivate them a little bit more so that they they have a higher cap in something. The castle. Increased shielding by three. It's pretty good. I like that. I like the defensive things very, very much. At your service, commander. Uh, increase heat management by five. Seems good. Evasiveness plus three. Can we upgrade that to five? No. So we could give it a new one. Huh. Heat management in missile by two. That is a little upgrade, but I want to get the bigger ones, honestly. Let's go self-development. Just give him just give him more stuff. You are being built upon uh, Coyote? Coyote, come on, motivate you. Did you get a new thing? You just got a new open slot, that's good. And I think we need to keep the other ones to actually have some people around to play with. Dragon reporting. Prepped and ready, Commander. Could increase shielding by a little here. You know what, it's fine, okay. So, upgrading these pilots, kind of interesting, kind of important. I wanna start repairing here, and we are doing something that I don't want to do, but I think it is necessary. We want to take the Mad Cat Mark II apart. Uh, the Mark IV, the Savage Wolf. I want these LRMs. I want all of them. I want all the ammo because my friend, the Atlas, wants to be somebody who spams. It's a spamless, so let's go with that. Um, I think everything else can stay here. I'm not even sure about the tag. It's only good in close quarter combat anyway. That's a 500 meter. 500 is fine. All right, we'll take the tag with us. Good. So 28 days before we can even start. That means we can jump around a little bit more. Oh wait, we should should have taken a look at the equipment before we go anywhere even. There's nothing here. Ooh, PMAC8. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm gonna buy all of them. I know. We're out of money again. But th those are good. Those are really good. Um, what about mobility? It's only mask. Proto jump jets. Why are these good? These are class 4. We don't care about class 4. No. Okay. I was I was confused for a second, but oh god, patchwork so good. Heat bank, ammo. Quickly checking, we need more regular LRM ammo. Only half tons here. There's Rock 20 ammo. Finally found some. That's good. Um, T-Bolt ammo. Not really played around with T-Bolts. Thunderbolt ammo. But I guess it's fine. So, what I wanted to do now is um, I wanted to take a look at another planet. Let's go over here. Doesn't matter really. Because uh, we have some time to spend until the Savage Wolf is ready. And I wanna I wanna get the Atlas and I wanna cram it with stuff. Okay. We check equipment again. Running out of money, but again, no big deal. We have a lot of stuff that we can sell if needed. Hammer fist. Medium pulse. I'm just looking for clan equipment. Agility XL. Nah, no thank you. Yeah, it's more harshal. Kinda wanna get that. How do we get it? 
I guess by selling more things. Uh, rotary 2, Rotary 5, but no ro Rotary 20. Yeah, I think I should I should start building. Okay. So, first of all, we need some money to get the build started. So, what we do is we drop some of these auto cannon tier low. Like all of these here. I'm gonna keep my machine guns. It's a very low tier Gauss rifle, but it's a clan Gauss. This is good. We have a lot of LBXs. Kind of funky. Lots of light rifles. Kind of wanted to upgrade them and didn't just try to spam them again. I think with all of them tier 4, we could get something done, maybe. Uh, we got a bunch of PMACs. That's great. Oh, we should really go for ammo for these PMACs, huh? That's a thing that we need. Uh, we don't sell them. We want to buy them. Should have checked that, uh, that other store for PMAC ammo. Okay, didn't find it here. Okay, I think with 5 million Siebels we can start our build. So let's go ahead and wait for the Savage Wolf for 15 days. Two events. There we go. It might even mean that we will sell the Savage Wolf. As much as it hurts me to say. But hey, let's go into... To Atlas territory. I was thinking about the Direwolf picking up all of these missile weapons. But this guy has six hard points. I'll take it. Let's go. So, we start with LRM-15s. That's a good one. That's a good one. Alright. So, AMS ammo is there. That's fine. We probably want to drop all the half ammo and just cram as many double bins as possible. And then obviously, advanced missile fire control system. So, we got three double bins. That is not a lot. But we have some regular bins. That is good. Heat management is absolutely all over the place. So we drop the largest. And we're getting there. We're getting there. I guess heat bank is in order. I mean, what, what we need is clan double heat sinks. So that we have more slots to work with. That's just it. Uh, Gauss ammo can go. Get another ton of regular LRM ammo. So we are running six weapons. That's one, two, three, four, five double bins. It's not enough yet. By far. Alright, how do we do it? Everything else needs to stay here. I could upgrade the engine. Doesn't really help. Doesn't help with the heat, at the very least. I don't know. How do we how do we push the heat down? There's no real way with the stuff that we have. There would be some options. Yeah, yeah, I know. But with the stuff that we own, we don't have these options. Okay, I guess that's it. 95 tons. This is gonna be a crazy missile spammer with 6 LRM-15 clan. It's a lot of damage that we are pumping out there. Um, Alright, so we have 5 tons under. What are we doing? There's no real way to fix this, huh? So 360 is 33 compared to 24.5. We could go for a 360, actually. Bam. Okay. And then... Oh, there are two double bins. Oh, I love it. I love it. This actually needed to stay there. So we put a double bin... Right here. And we want to get rid of this and this. Put this over here and have another double bin. Oh, that's beautiful. Now we got one, two, three, four, five. Technically six. I'd say just on the edge. Heat management is again not great at all. We could actually cram though. We could cram a another heatsink into the engine, which is definitely what we want to do. So that goes here. How do we manage the tonnage now? Maybe we drop the AMS altogether. It's a little bit of defense. I want to keep my uh, ECM, I want to keep my active probe.
guess. I guess that's it. So another half ton of ammo. And actually, give it a full ton and we drop a little bit more leg armor. <laughs> we need that ammo. It's important. It's really, really important. So, critical slots, they are a problem, as you can see here. And yeah, we would have more options by dropping the regular doubles and putting clan doubles in here. Or let's even getting proto heat sinks. This is a crazy mech. I'm very eager to see the missile spam on the battlefield. Okay, in order to get this done, we first of all need more money. You are getting sold now. Can we do it? He has a mobility gyro in there. I want that. I'll drop this. Um, I like the lamella, actually. Ooh, that's good. So nine days. Yeah, that's too much, sadly. Mm, we can probably afford getting rid of the endo with the mech. It's fine. Active probe. Are oh, we going to plug that? Power sensor, we're going to plug that. Um... I guess the double heat sinks are also good to have. So, guys, uh, 21 days. We have... N we don't have 21 days. So here is what we do. I am going to get rid of the Vulcans. Yep, that's good. And I'm going to get rid of the Shadowhawk. That is still not enough. Then I'm going to get rid of the Hunchback to see... Still not enough. Uh, another part. Alright, enough. Beautiful. Cool, cool, cool. Um, nothing else to do really, right? The Atlas is being built upon. Oh yeah, I wanted to upgrade the Atlas. Um, crazy. Back to the store we go. Back to the store. Patchwork, stick and peel. Structure endo can go. Pharaoh can go. If we go anywhere, we're gonna we're gonna use the clan stuff. Mm. That's all stuff I wanna keep. So we are not selling it. Let's go for low tier weapons and just get rid of them. Regular LRM tens are a thing that I rarely use, so let's just drop them. Um, that can go. SRM-2s, get out of here, we don't need you. SRM-4s, we don't need you either. It's clan or nothing. At this point, I think it's clan or nothing. Since we can actually be picky with our stuff. And I think I just sold an SRM-6, did I? I think I did, but it doesn't seem like it. Okay, so we get now got 5 million C bills. Again, it's a little bit of a building thing here, but we will get on the battlefield soon enough. Let's just upgrade this thing, because it wants to be. We want... I think armor is good. And everything missile. Just everything missile. Velocity, cooldown, damage, spread. On top of that, sensor, lock time, sensor range, and we have a mech. Nothing more to do here. Two million sea bells. Gone. Only thing to do is to paint this guy, and then we are good to go. Let's go Davian. I like Davian. Davian is good. Also, can we rename that thing? Yeah, let's go. This is Mr. Missile. Okay. And we're good. Beautiful. Mr. Missile, it's there. Great. So guys, let's go ahead and seek some trouble, shall we? I wanted to play this targeted kill contract quite a while ago. So let's go there. Uh, we could play the garrison duty as well, because, you know, it's a very, very chill base defense. It's not really that dangerous. Um, but here we are. Let's go. Playing headhunting on a rather small map. Let's do that. Bit of money, bit of salvage. Mind the weather, Commander. It'll okay. Your visibility. So the mission starts in 214 days, but that is because my friends are still in training and I cannot afford that. So let's go and pick somebody who is currently not doing that. It doesn't really matter who we take. All of these guys still need training. Are you injured or something or are you just bad? 
Okay. So, I could wait for the Atlas to be built, but that would require us to wait for a long time. Where's my Atlas? How long does it take? Let's say. 85 days. I think... I don't want to do that right now. So instead, is is what we do. We're gonna run our Ultra Auto Cannon build again in a rather close range scenario. Because this map only is 15 square kilometers big. And um, that means we can just pump some damage into our this enemies. Has proved to be a nuisance for our employers. Let's go. We're tasked with making sure that we find them and put them in the ground. Yep. Good hunting, everyone. I like that we are in a cold environment. Wrong, Commander. There's an unrecognized dropship. <sighs> okay, we're gonna wait. Incoming transmission. Yeah, buddies, I am ready to fire big, big slugs in your face when you drop down here. Um, and I will. Oh. Come at me, bros. One down. Uh-huh. Emergency evac? You should give them an emergency evac, actually. What are you? Go away. Okay, that was quick, that was easy, that was dumb by those enemies. Aha, uh -huh, supreme victory, I'll take that, thank you. I don't know what they were thinking, honestly. Dropping right on top of two stone rhinos and a king crab and a victor? They should have known better. But okay, I'll take it. Yeah, at some point, these, these surprise ambushes in the beginning of a match, they are not even a problem. Alright. Ooh, Nightstar! Hello! Zap! Got him headshot. All targets at the location. Oh, this is so beautiful. Sometimes you just gotta get lucky. So we can do this quickly, grab some money, and then get out again. Where are they? There's a guy. I like the Scottish accent. Where's your face, man? Doesn't matter, you're dead. Oh wait, there's more. I need to go. Uh, my friends are not here. Actually, let's just jump around a bit. Should help. Man, we should really use Kelpie more. Do love his accent. So we're technically done, but there's a dropship right behind us, so we probably want to deal with that thing. What's that? An urban mech. Mm -hmm. Good. Ooh, King Crab is getting obliterated. Probably from behind. Oh no. Arm gone. Why? Um, what happened to you, buddy? I mean, obviously you attract a, attracted a lot of fire. Okay, it's not that thing that I like because we we have uh, no spare LBX to replace it with, or maybe we have one but a lower tier. Eh. Yeah, now we gotta fix that thing. Okay. So again, quick mission. Recovered some extra money. There is some salvage. Couldn't hit that for the love of Kerensky. But okay. Let's get out of here. Just chilling. Just vibing. Good. So. Um, next up. I think we gonna... We gonna maneuver. We are gonna get out. Somewhere else. And while we are doing that. I hope that our atlas is getting fixed. So we can actually play that. All right, let's move. Good. Quick mission. I'll take it. I definitely take that. There was a Night Star available. Is that a mech I would like to run? Like a mill? Like a mech that I like to field? A milf? Maybe, actually. 
Why not? Again, one shot of taking another part. Heavy PPC available. I don't think so. He has an MRM-20. I'll take it. I want to try that thing again. Or... Marauder S7. It has a cr kind of a quirk. Gangnir. Hmm. Mm, don't know what that is, so I just skip it right now. Still, we got 10 picks. Mm, and this is all inner sphere stuff. Again, I am beyond that. Let's not pick it. We could pick a harder moto and just sell the part. That seems actually quite okay. That seems decent. Alright. Let's go. So, King Crab didn't really deal the most damage, but still was the one getting attacked by everybody. It's a bit awkward. Okay, so what we need to do is, uh, I kind of want to repair you. You don't really have the most damage on you. We can reuse you, and the other guys are just getting back uh, to cold storage. We're going to use some other mechs. Sell the Savage Wolf. I know it hurts, but we don't need him anymore. I'm going to go for 100 toners, like the big boys, or hero mechs. And again, we could play the Garrison Duty here. But I don't feel like it right now. I don't like this particular mission type. Person duty, beachhead. Hmm. Infiltration. Can I please try my atlas? Should we just go and play a patrol? I'd say the answer is yes. Let's do it. So we spend some time. Could just wait for the atlas to come online. Do nothing. Just wait it here. A 40 mil. Nah, it hurts a little bit, but let's do it. So, small map. Bit of salvage. 41 this time. Playing against Wrestle Hag. Extreme weather conditions means you'll be dealing with limited visibility and compromised Okay, Atlas mission. it is. We're playing in a hellstorm environment. Oh, God, it's gonna be hot. Uh, You are being repaired. King Crab is. No, wait, you are not being repaired. King Crab out. Stone Rhino out. We will take instead. Oh, uh, could take the Timber Wolf actually, and I will. And that's gonna be the Stalker. Get some arrows on the battlefield. It seems decent. All right, guys, I'm gonna wait the sixty days. I was really debating in my head whether or not I should do it, but I just want to see. How good our missile spam is gonna be. We didn't take the tag, by the way. It's another half ton that we could have used, but I don't think we have the slots for that anymore. Ah, it's fine. It's gonna be alright. I think ammunition is more important than anything here. Let's go. I wish the Atlas had more energy hard points, by the way. I would totally have put uh, like four medium lasers for self defense. I would say yes. Two mediums are. Barely worth taking. But I think four mediums? That could work. Welcome to Outside Commander. At 0600 this morning, we lost all contact with the base ahead of you. You are to proceed to the map point marked on your HUD and ascertain the situation right. of friendly base. I have weapon groups. All right, we, we have some friends at the base sitting there waiting for things to happen. We could also investigate the secondary objective, which we might want to do after the main fight is over. Fun thing about this Atlas here, it runs 58 kbh. It's not bad. It's quite, quite solid for a 100 ton missile boat. All right, let's go in. It's a rather small map. And I really wonder if that is a base defense, or if this is going to be a war zone or a battlefield. But since we have friends there, um, something will come at us. Yes, uh, the occasional nothing in the base, you have to go. But this seems like a fight is gonna break out. Okay. Our helicopters are actually Igors. Yeah. Some of them, at the very least. But some warriors, some Igors, then a Jagermech. That's a good old Jagermech DD, Ultra 5s, Autocannon 5s. 
Got a Jenner, another one, and a dragon. Good. I'm ready. He's just scooting around. Okay, and I will actually crash through the base so that I can get to the to the point faster. I don't like walking simulators. Hello, friends. Hello, Commander. We're here. Everything is fine here. We had some power issues. It took out our communications, but we're working on restoring the power. Thanks really? For really? I don't believe that. There has to be more. There has to be. I think as soon as I'm gonna get into my evac zone, there will be an ambush of some sort. But let's see. Let's keep pushing. Man, I'm here for a fight. Ah, yes. That means we should definitely investigate the secondary objective because we might find something. We have to get some value out of this. Just going home empty-handed is not an option. Brap. Okay. There's also nothing here? What is that? Alright, Rihanna, please tell me that there's something gonna happen. Yeah, all right. Good. Where's the stuff? No, wait. Are we just going? <laughs> hey, I was kind of going for a fight here. I wasn't waiting for my atlas. For this? Come on. Come on, game, please. Fine. Hey, we get millions and millions of sea builds and no salvage. Okay. Okay. I'm not playing the end game. Infiltration is not the best map for uh, missile weapons. Yeah, I'll play the beach at the fence. We can get some good stuff out of this. It's not against the clans, but we will get massive payout. Okay. Got a black market. Wanna check this out real quick. Still looking for some special ammo. Maybe there's a good weapon system here. Answer is no. More T-bolt ammo. AC-20 double. I'm not gonna take that. Heavy flamer. Heavy flamer clan double. Are these good? It's not. It's long term ammo. We should pick it. Alright. Rock 5 double, sniper half, T bolt, it's fine. More jump jets, still no supercharger. Reflective, nah. Nah, right, we're good, guys. Let's go ahead and play the next mission. Stop the launch. Oh, we could also play Stop the Launch. Should we? Should we get the King Crab Carapace? Ah, let's go. Let's go. I said I wouldn't take it. Because uh, it, it, the, the mech is almost too good. If you want to go ballistic, get that mission done and you have a beautiful mech. But it's another hero that we can just add to our lands. And we don't have to run it all the time. It's nice to have. You know, it's just... It's nice for... The collector's purpose. Alright. And we can test our atlas. Then we're gonna play the beachhead afterwards. There's still time. Which I believe there will be. Alright. By the way guys, if you haven't already, uh, click the like and subscribe button. They are just there if you wanna not miss another episode anymore. Uh, you gotta do it. Also helps me out as a creator. So thank you for all of you who are doing it. Thank you very much. There's a lot of preparing to do here, seemingly. That's a story mission. So that there, there will be some special things. I mean, this mission consists of four elements, right? It's like two base destructions, one raid, and then the last mission, right? Something like that. Lionel Stance has stolen a new okay. device called a Peacemaker. The Peacemaker. We need to make sure he doesn't launch. Yeah. We've reached the first of three relays. Big stations. nuclear weapons Just that make peace, huh? If launched. Until somebody else builds another bigger nuclear weapon to make his piece. I can decide how I want to bring it down. Really? 
Are there any decisions to be made here? I don't feel like it. I don't think we have the range. Yeah, I wanted him to come a bit closer. By the way, that's our missile spam. Should be dead. Wow. Harasser with all of these missiles should be an easy kill. Easiest ever. And we have the problem, quote unquote problem. Actually, it is a problem um, that we have to lock onto our targets. That takes precious time away. Can we destroy things here? Ah, just out of range. Yeah, we need to really get closer. Maximum range is a thousand meters. Yeah. Okay. And we certainly want to destroy the enemy's um, uh, garrison first. What's also nice, what would be nice, would be a UAV. Oh, that would be so fan freaking fantastic. Let me see if that works. Yeah, yeah, we're doing things. Goodbye, Locust. Rap. Just dead. Um. Reach the garrison is what they say. Oh, I'm gonna go for Max. Phoenix Hawk. Let's go. Somebody was dropping a UAV. Oh, yeah, we have we have the Arrow Stalker. That's pretty good. Goodbye. You know, I'm gonna say it again. The problem here is that I mean we have we have Alpha Strike. We have big big Alpha Strike. But we lock onto a guy or a thing, and then we're gonna do that Alpha Strike, and then we're gonna waste precious time to swivel over to the next target and Alpha Strike again. That means our rate of fire is, ra is rather low. Because enemies will will not take that many hits. Know what I mean? So whenever I, I Alpha Strike, I have to wait until I can lock onto another guy to Alpha Strike that. And it takes our damage output quite down. Yeah, we're just destroying base here. It's also a thing. Base destruction with a mech like this. From afar, yes. But I feel like we really gotta move into the base in order to get the buildings down. Yep. Directing the damage is not easy. I mean, we're doing fine. We're, we're fine. Charger! Get wrecked! Ah, this is not a kill. So we got an alpha twice. And then Rihanna takes away all of my missiles. Yeah. Uh, is that amount of missiles too much? I kind of feel, yeah. It's fun. But it's far from efficient. Oh. That was a blackjack. I needed two alpha strikes to kill a blackjack. You know what I mean? I mean, it's a funny thing to have. Eh, maybe we're gonna keep that for just some raw DPS from the back line. Or we're gonna make a mix build out of this. Having only, let's say, four of these. And then also a Gauss Rifle or a fast-firing autocannon. Something like an Autocannon 10 or an Ultra 5 or something. Makes more sense. But it worked! So, here we are. 33 picks. I'll take three awesome parts. Yeah, let's go. It's a good old AQ. Nothing wrong with that means we can also build one. Alrighty then. So I'll stop the launch, part two. Um, so the second part would be a defense mission, right? Um, beachhead defense. I want to see what I can do with my missile mech there. We're going to take the same squad. Come on. I want to repair those because they will take too long and would take too much money away. Um... I could play the second part of this here as well. Um, no, let's play this. I want to test this Atlas in a different environment, where... 
Um, where there will be more enemies uh, coming at us, bigger enemies coming at us. And um, yeah, a base to defend. So we are more in a static position, trying to shoot outward instead of running into a base and trying to demolish that, constantly trying to fire. Uh, this is going to be a more dynamic fight where we will have more downtime, where we'll have more cooldown times. So we are not at maximum heat all the time. And it, it will be another biome as well, which is going to be very helpful. And yes, this mech is not optimized for heat. Not at all. So there will be changes. That is a thing that I can tell you already. Maybe the way is to... Yeah, 4 LRM-15 at 60 missiles. That's good. Then a long range, mid to long range auto cannon, so that we can balance our heat a bit better. Um, and then some direct fire, so just some snap fire opportunities as well. In case we need it. And more pinpoint. And hey, here we go. Try again. The jungle is probably also not good for our missiles. Eating them with the foliage. We'll see. Just some thoughts here. And the game is lagging again. Oh god, there's a lot of mechs coming in. As it should be. Let's go. Lights on. I think I could actually just sit on a satellite uplink and defend that this time. And then just intercept anything on the map that tries to push the base. Depending on where the base is. Because we got the indirect fire. Got lots of it. This is the base's automated defense system speaking. There are two yeah. satellite relays yeah. marked one and two. These relays will be so, shown on your base is there. display. Um, satellite relay one is right in front of us, and honestly, there's not that much jungle here. Just some palm trees, just some bamboo or whatever that is. Deploy your forces as you see fit. Hostilities are nearing the beachhead as we speak. I think we're just gonna park our shiny metal ass right here on the satellite area. Means the base is in about 2,000 meters, 1,500-ish. Um, and the enemies will not be able to call in reinforcements if we defend this satellite. Maybe the other one, we just let let it fall. Where's it even? Oh wait, no, the base is below! Yeah. My bad. My bad. Base is there. Oh, that's okay. So, how far are you away? That's an atlas. The same as I am. Oh, and yeah, we have an arrow. Let's go. I'll defend this uh, by destroying it. Uh, Night Star. It's coming our way, so let's shoot him. Ah, come on. Relock? No. Ah, there he is. Yeah, I'm gonna not shoot the, um, the flyers. It's not efficient for me to do that. Why are you shooting it this way? What? Oh, okay. I have no idea what's going on. I need to take care of these now. Yeah, one down. It's a problem. They're also attacking the relay. God. That's so weird. Okay, on the Marauder then. My missiles are now flying in the right direction. Oh, and I was so hoping that we had enough. That is heat management. Okay. Come on, guys. I told you to attack this dude. What I want to say is also that this Atlas... It's a very static playstyle. It's not really my favorite one. Okay, the Night Star is close, so we want to try to take that guy with an Alpha Strike. Uh -huh. Yeah, relay us down. Such a slow DPS. I'm gonna switch over to something else that has a little bit more direct capacity here. Okay. So, now that the relays are down, these guys are trying to attack the base, and here's the dropship. Oh, 
I'm trying to go for Cyclops. Base is not being captured yet. Weapon jammed. Yeah, way better. It's way more fun like that. Also, way more damage. Ouch. Who are you? Oh, you're the dropship. Um, take it down. Oh my god! He's bombarding the area! Um, that is new. Wow! That is new and so fun. Okay, okay, almost got him. He's already red. It's our little raid boss here. <laughs> cool. I love it. We gotta make sure one of our friends is uh, pincered right now. We gotta make sure that they are not getting destroyed. Yes, sir. Take that Wolverine away. Yeah, we're getting so much damage. Okay, Wolvie is down. On the Thug next. I always say, don't respect Thugs. But this guy, in this situation, we have to. Okay, he's dark. Phoenix. Uh -huh. Stalker I took a lot of damage from that encounter. Got the Phoenix. Alright, turn around again. On that urban lord. Uh, not a mech, it's a lord. He probably also bought one of these Scottish titles. Like one square foot of land or so, and now he's calling himself a lord. Scammer. Okay. Oh, Atlas. Thank you. Next wave coming in. Okay, Mr. Lord. Sir, would you please sit down, sir? There we go. My mech is not in the best state anymore, but it's fine. I actually want to pull back. Follow me, guys. What do we have in terms of base defenses? There are a bunch of turrets there. It's SRM, small laser, doesn't matter, doesn't help. Okay. So we're gonna stand on our hill of glory and victory. Catapult? I guess that's a target. Attacking proposition. Yeah. Catapults have good DPS. I wanna take it out. Come on, guys, we have the missiles. We have so many of them, technically speaking. Got that guy. Okay, on the Griffin next. I don't see missiles flying. Only in very small batches. And I wonder why that is. I mean, you guys literally have all the missiles in the freaking universe here. Okay. I'm trying to headshot that guy. Doesn't matter, he's dead. Mad Dog. It's not hittable, he's behind the dropship. It's another catapult though. This can't be happening. Ba bam ba bam. Okay. Catapult, come over here, man. I really. I really don't see any weapons being fired. Oh, there we go. Do I have to tell my people all the time? Like, what's wrong with the AI currently? This is Dragon. Mech destroyed. But hey, we have a very good stand here. This is our position. The orange. On the side torsos. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Missiles are coming out now. Okay. Uh, it's the dropship, right? Yeah, it's right there. I could try to shoot between its legs, its landing pads. Ow. Double out. Are you firing your weapons, guys? Please do. You're free to go. I allow it. Okay. Falcon should be easy. It's good to be in the Timberwolf again, by the way. God, how have I missed it? Trying to go for head. 
rather easy on the Orion. Okay, and it's holding. There's still a vulture down there. I, I don't think I can shoot through this. Nah. These seem to be holes, but I... I'm not sure. Nah, we are not, we are not hitting this guy. Okay. Means we're gonna do our offense now. Yeah, sorry Atlas. Yeah, he's down. I think this vulture might be the last enemy, actually. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay, so it's, um... This is not... Uh, it's just texture. This gap there. You cannot shoot through this. Yeah. Alright. It's fair enough. We don't have to waste so many polygons on this guy. Let's go. Invisible walls everywhere. Get wrecked. There we go. Okay, that was a crazy fight, man. That was cool as hell, though. I like these these um, more intense missions, to be honest. Like uh, beachheads and beachhead defenses and uh, patrol... No, not patrols. These uh, re recon missions? Uh, these convoy missions? They're pretty cool. And everything is escalating and you need to make decisions. So, this is a relatively good Cyclops. Mm, I still don't want it. I don't think we need it, no. Another Atlas? Always good. Never bad. This is the Night Star I was talking about, huh? A hundred? Don't mind if I do. I'll take the Night Star. I'll take as many Night Star parts as I can get, should I? Two, three, four, five. Hmm. So this alone gives us the star that we want. Let's see what else we got. Cicada 3P with a heavy PPC, by the way. Quite a nasty thing. Classic Marauder. I, I want a classic Marauder. But that's a mad dog. We can take two parts of it. It's way worth... It's just worth more. So much more. Catapults are fine. Shadowhawk, no. Guardian ECM, Ultra Auto Cannons. Are there any double heat sinks from maybe the Vulture? Any clan doubles? No. So, I think what we take then is gonna be... I guess just anything that's worth four. Four picks, come on, anything. They were, they were medium lasers, right? Alright, I'll take two. Actually, I'll take a pulse. Good. So, with these 100 picks, we are now able to actually build a Night Star. Oh, that's gonna be good. Oh, by the way, we also have these Marauders. Maybe this is the late game where we want to bring them in and start building crazy things. Uh, that's an awesome 8Q. Want to build this? I say yes. We're happy. And then the Night Star down here. Four ballistic, two energy, nothing else. Seems good. Seems good enough. Let's do it. All right, guys. So that's what our mechs look like. Not bad. Not all too bad. I want to quickly check something. Can I put the long term into this mech? It needs an arm mount. Spine and mount. No, where's that thing? Long term. Not enough. Wait, not enough free slots? Invalid mech part, you say. How would I put it in a mech? You say 15 slots. Splittable. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That means 7 slots should go over here. Unless it's a 10 and 5 split. This could be. So any mech that has a lower arm and a hand is not allowed to ha hold the long term. We need something that only has a shoulder and an upper arm. Which would be... What mech has upper arm and shoulder and ballistic hard points? I mean, Jäger mech, yes. We don't have our Jäger anymore. Rifleman 2C could take them, maybe. It's what I'm assuming here. Maybe the split is just not 
possible with uh, 8 and 7. Does it say somewhere? There's something about the damage and how to use it and AoE and stuff. It says 15 slots, crit splittable. I assume that this is a, again, a 10 and 5 split. So we cannot use it here, sadly. Anyway, we have a Nightstar, and this Nightstar has improved targeting for more projectile speed and 10% cooldown on all weapons. Nice. There's more repair time. Mm. And a reinforced cockpit as well as a sensor range bonus. It's not the most exciting mech in the world, but hey, it's a Nightstar, and I, I kind of like these things. Guys, I would say that has been it for today. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and as per usual, don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.